Hi, this is Dan, and I'm here with more Let's Play of Monster Train. So we're going to do a Hellhorned Stygian run here, which I have not won with yet. Uh, we're on Covenant level 10, so it's a bit of a challenge, at least for me. Alright, so our starting random cards, we're going to get Rage, Titan Sooth, uh, a little tough, those are both very expensive. And then we get this, which is Sacrifice an Imp, which can be good if we have imps, but we don't yet. Alright, we'll see what our artifact is. Rage adds an additional plus one per stack. Well, that's good. We have some rage stuff. In turn, frozen cards are reduced to zero. Which would be good if we had a way to make things frozen. Uh, I think this is the more straightforwardly beneficial one. Um, so, I mean, the multi-strike is good with rage. Alright, I'm going to try it. I, normally, I think I, I, I get too, um, too invested in trying to make the, the multi-strike work on, uh, on this guy. Uh, giving him armor is tough, but getting a... Unit draft is really good, so I'm going to go with this trial. Okay, so... Some protection in front. No. Oh, I forgot <laughs> he had armor. Okay. Uh, and then we'll put a train steward up here in case the collector shows up. We need to get through the turn of being dazed there. Yeah, well, there he is. Well, I think this is what makes sense. And we're going to take some damage there, which is not great. Let's see, if we let this guy go through, he's going to get one hit on the pyre, which will be five. Um, and this guy is, does two. I'm, just, I'm trying to decide whether I want to use uh, Ritual of Bath. I think, I think this is the way to go, and hopefully we'll be able to... Um, give him some defense in the front, but I think this is going to be better for fighting the boss, uh, even though we're going to pay the price a, a little bit of pyre damage. Alright, so you stand in front. And then we might as well hit him with as much damage as we can. And we can't get this guy in the back because of the armor. Hmm. 
Well, I think our best bet is getting Frostbite on this guy. And this guy as well, actually. So, um, even though we're going to take some Pyre damage... All right, I think uh, having that Frostbite there is basically the best thing we can do to, to hurt them in any way. So... So I guess get rid of this. All right, and then we take two hits on the pyre. Oh, just one hit because of the frostbite, okay. So there we basically traded 15 points of pyre health for this uh, unit. Well, we do have an imp thing going on, and we have a rage thing going on, so let's get the fledgling imp. Offering token. I mean, this is a way to get our offering cards to work. So I think I'm going to take that. All right, so this guy could get us more rage. Um, or she can give us spell weakness and a sweep. I think this guy makes more sense for what we've already got going on, but we're going to have to um, get him some upgrades so that he, uh, he can be our kind of frontline tank. So we're going to go over here. Ooh, <laughs> although I really love this guy. Uh, revenge, apply Frostbite 3 to enemy units. That's all enemy units. So this guy is fantastic as a tank, so I'm definitely going to take him. Uh... Making this guy eternal, I think, is good. So this helps a little bit, not as much as I want. Um, yeah, we also, I mean, I would like to improve the, um, the shark guy. But uh, we didn't. It didn't seem like we had the right options there. Um, another unit draft. Plus four damage is tough because the, you know, they're gonna have a bunch of small troops, and they're all gonna get that plus four. Um, but I'm gonna do it. I think. I, I don't know. And the haste in the back is kind of bad. Although, I guess this guy does take care of that. Well, okay, so we can torch that one. Um, I mean, this guy is getting stomped pretty badly. Uh, do we want to put the Branded Warrior on the second floor? Yeah, 
I think so. Uh, yeah, let's try that. Yeah, that's I, I love this revenge frostbite so much. <laughs> it's so powerful. Let's put him in the front. And so this guy's gonna die already. Yeah. All right, well, this is, we've got our offering token. We can toss this. And I think he's gonna do more damage this way. Our branded warrior is gonna have to do some uh, some work here. So, fledgling imp. I think is gonna be good. Like better than than ritual of battle because it'll give him a turn to fight. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we died, but the frost bike got him. Nice. All right. Well, that worked out in the end. So. Another one of these guys might not be bad, although the one we have is endless. So I think that's fine. Um, what was our rage is good. Uh, Let's get this thing, I guess. <laughs> guess we'll take another one of these. Well, I mean, we do have a rage superpower. Um, so I guess we'll get her, although Nora doesn't seem that impressive, but. I think you've got to kind of double down on whatever your advantages are. All right, so we can duplicate something or we can modify spells over here. What would we duplicate? Um, maybe our Endless Fledgling Imp. Our Titan Sentry is amazing, but he's not upgraded. So... Um, so I think let's go this way. We'll heal the pyre. And we'll modify some spells. Okay, we've got a keepstone. That's potentially, that's interesting if we can put it on this. 
because then they offer in cards as they pass through. We'll get them every time. And then... Alright, so I think making these more powerful is good. Alright, I guess. Tome will we take? So here we can apply Endless to a friendly unit, which is interesting. Apply Silence to enemy units, which is interesting. Or apply Trample. I think Trample is good. Um, yeah, there's really no other way to get that, and it's pretty cool if you can get it on a powerful unit, so. And we are trying to get, you know, some super powered units with all our rage, so. Uh. don't think it makes a ton of sense to set up on the bottom floor because we're just going to take a lot of damage. So what I'm thinking is we'll put this guy here. And we'll the Nameless Siren with him. And we'll give her some armor. And we'll kill one of these guys. And then when we get the uh, the Titan Sentry or whatever he is, uh, he can go down here. All right, so Titan Sentry. Does it make sense? I guess it makes sense for him to also be down here. Uh, all right. Well, this isn't great with the uh, the bomb, but. him to die so let's do that and let's see if we can draw one of the things we care about um, not really Oh, wait a minute. This is going to make things substantially better. <laughs> uh, and we'll 
we'll just do this up here to uh, get her the encant and avoid the damage. Because the way that damage is going to line up down here, this guy is going to get killed either way. I was thinking about uh, putting the trample on our champion, but... the energy or the uh, ember for that um then we still might as well let's see get the one in the back so they're not hasted although the frostbite would have taken care of that anyway now that i think about it all right it's good to get the kills. All right, so to start out, we will offer some Titan's Tooth. Up here, fledgling imp can help, and actually, we might as well just do that. Put some damage on uh, Daedalus. All right, it's so the final wave. Start out, we'll use our big tooth. And then um, I'm trying to decide whether we want to, I think this is just going to be better. Get more frostbite on uh, Daedalus. And then when he gets up to. Um, Yeah. Yeah, and then hopefully when he gets up to this floor we'll win. Alright, well I'm not doing great. Uh I can do this, see if we lock into anything amazing. Um I think I'm just gonna take the ritual of battle and give it to my multi strike uh, champion. Yeah, and that does the job. Yeah, with the frostbite help, obviously. All right. All right, apply sap and frostbite. It's okay. Send all I mean, this this pyre bound thing. I don't know. It seems just seems too situational to me. Um, here, twenty five armor. That's not bad. All right, apply sap to enemy units. Um, I think this is interesting, and it's small enough that I could fit it in with um, with other units. So. Uh, I'm going to try it. I've never really used it before. Um, but I'm going to try it. Uh, let's see. So do we want capacity? I think we probably want card draw or ember. So what have we been having trouble with? Yeah, let's get some more uh, 
ember. So we can use those big big spells even when we don't have the uh, the token. Um, although I mean, if we made the token hold over, that would also be good. Uh, so we can get an artifact and a hellhorned unit, or over here we could modify our units to get a Stygian unit. Um, we still need some upgrades, especially our new tanks. I would like a an artifact. We don't have a ton of money. We would get some there. So I think what I'm going to do is go this way and get the artifact. Early Ember just doesn't seem that great to me. So, like, I mean, it's good. It's like, it's not bad to have it. I'm just, it seems like I can never take advantage of it. Um, so let's get this. Uh, I mean, this is kind of interesting. So I guess let's get him. And then we'll get rid of our train stewards, at least some of them. I think we're just gonna keep keep going with the multi-strike. Uh, the revenge rage thing is maybe slightly interesting because we've got the rage power up, but um, I mean multi-strike also lets you take advantage of rage, and we have some other ways to get rage. Um, I don't think our tanks are strong enough to to do this. So I'm in 150 coins. I mean we do need money, but I'm just gonna not do the challenge on this one. Our, our frontline guys just aren't aren't tanky enough. So let's get him out here. Uh, Hornbreaker Prince here. He'll team up with the Siren when she gets here. And we'll hit him with that, so he'll end up dead. And we might as well first lance the guy in the front. Alright. Well. What a bit like here, I think. Doing that, I would like to. I mean, I want all of these things. Um, all right. Well, hopefully, I mean. I know that's, you know, giving giving him more attack is good, and I think he'll be able to take down this uh, this guy when he comes up. Yeah. Uh, so this would be nice, too. But I want to get the siren out there. And I want to play Titan's Tooth. Right, I think let's just play for a little bit longer term. Uh, 
and we won't get the benefit of that other stuff this turn, but... Okay. Well, let's still go and find down here. He's still dead. She's not in great shape. Um, so I think what I want to do is do some incanting. Because that'll both weaken him and give her... Uh, I think it. Oh, she gets rage. I thought she got armor. <laughs> I was mixing her up with someone else. Still, uh, weakening the the bad guys is you know causes her to not take damage. So it's all good. All right. Um. Yeah, so I think we want to Umbra Stone, our main guy, put some armor on her, and even more armor. That works, I think. Well, yeah, unfortunately, we lost our uh, frostbite guy. And Trample isn't doing great work for us because uh, the big guy's in the front anyway. Um, so maybe I shouldn't have thrown away the other torch. This is not great. And we'll do that. Yeah, this is, uh, this is not good. <laughs> yeah, I, if, if we have cards that would have made this work, we didn't draw them that turn. Yeah, if we had, uh, if our, if our frostbite uh, tank had um, survived, it would have been like way better. Uh, all right, well, this is a lucky draw. So that's probably the best we could have hoped for there. Um, 
But I don't think it's going to be good enough. <laughs> I think this guy's going to take down our pyre. Well, maybe not. All right, I guess our pyre's got about eight, eight shots on him. So that gives us... So we're probably going to be just very badly hurt now. Well, no, okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, that was a failure. Yeah, so I think what happened there is um, just not enough uh, defense. Uh, or I was focused on offense and I couldn't keep the uh, tanks alive. Um, you know, obviously that Frostbite guy is amazing because uh, he's putting out so much um, damage up for every hit he takes, but you know, you need to be able to take the hits for that, and we didn't get the right upgrades to make him super powerful in that respect and we didn't have any any real way around that so I think it just kind of kind of fell apart well, that's the way it goes sometimes I guess uh, yeah so I hope you enjoyed watching and I hope you come back next time bye